let's take a look at worksheet six, which covers the idea of finding area in circles and circle sectors. And um, in the activity that accompanies this, we build on where the formula for a circle comes from, but I'll hit that quickly here. One way is called a limit argument, where you take a circle and you cut it into its uh, equivalent sectors or congruent sectors and put them alternating. And what it does is it creates almost a parallelogram like shape. If you cut it into just four pieces, it's not very parallelogram at all. There's a lot of these extra bumps out here that uh, aren't fitting within that parallelogram. The radius <coughs> uh, extends beyond the shape, so the radius is not a good approximation of the height and so on. So there's some errors, but with with doing smaller and smaller and smaller cuts, the air gets reduced more and more. So here's a good example where maybe, you know, uh, what is that, two, four, six cuts, or maybe eight or 12 or 30 cuts of these small little slivers. What begins to happen is the radius approximates the height. So um, if we want to think of this region as a parallelogram, that R is the actual height, or as it as it gets as those pieces get narrower and narrower and narrower, it becomes more and more that value. There's less air outside, and then the other thing is is that the other dimension is pi r, and the reason it's pi r is the entire circumference is two pi r, and so if it's two pi r, half of the circumference is on this these bumps and half is on those arcs, and so it's just pi r. And when you multiply those two together, the base of the parallelogram times the height of the parallelogram, you get pi r squared. Kind of cool, isn't it? Now, finding the area of a, an entire circle, easy. Finding sectors, a little bit more interesting. So here's a sector that it takes up 60 degrees. So think about it this way. Think about it as pi r squared would be the entire, the entire region, but we only have 60 out of the 360 degrees. That part is like a percentage. Um, and then in this case, it can be reduced to 1 sixth, actually, and then pi times r squared. So this is 100 divided by 6 pi, would be the exact value, um, and that can be reduced a little bit as well, 50 thirds and so on, and, and it can be turned into a mixed fraction, um, or even a decimal for that matter. But that's the idea, is that it's a percentage of that. So here we have a 20 degree uh, one, so 20 out of 360, and again, um, that is a 1 18th uh, relationship pi r squared pi r squared, which is 36, 18. This actually comes out to just be 2 pi uh, centimeters, uh, 2 pi centimeters squared. A nice little relationship. Now, when you get into kind of interesting curves like this or shaded regions, you get into this addition subtraction game a little bit. So, first of all, um, think of this as you know, you can kind of see, you know, one big circle minus some there. So think about it this way. Let's, let's think of the big circle first, which is pi r squared divided by 2. Now what that would give you is the, the area of the half of this bottom half, right here, the whole thing. And then we would need to subtract out the little guy in here, which is pi r squared divided by 2, and so we get 36, 18 pi, um, minus this little guy here, which is 9 divided by 2, which is 4 and a half pi, and so we get 13 and a half pi centimeters squared. The idea is that, again, half of the, half of the normal circle looks like this, and we're going to subtract half of that little inner circle there to get the remaining amount. This is probably the most classic picture about area and shaded regions always. And the idea is that let's say the side is 10. Well then uh, your, your square is 10 times 10 for 100. And then we're going to subtract the circle which is 
pi r squared, which would be 5 in this case. So our answer would be 100 minus 25 pi. We're a little bit too low. Oh, you can see it, I guess. But it would be 100 minus 25 pi as an exact answer, and then you could go to a decimal if you wanted. The key is to think of sectors and regions to be a percentage of the whole circle.